you. I'm just going to get right into it. I think that we used to know our enemies a lot better. It used to be the guy on the other side of the room that would give you the stink eye. Or maybe it was someone in a bar that would give you a quick elbow when you're walking by. Or maybe it was that kangaroo down the street that was trying to steal your kangaroo girl. So you went down and kicked them in the kangaroo pouch. But to use the old saying, mano a mano, it was literally man to man. It was personal. It was two guys slugging it out in the ring. And it was real. It was palpable. Two guys could beat the crap out of each other for a whole movie, plus a sequel. And then they could even become friends afterward. And sorry, spoiler alert here. They might even avenge one of the other's deaths at the hands of the Russian in Rocky IV shortly after frolicking on the beach in short shorts and tank tops. But I know I'm dating myself a little bit here. I'm a little bit older than some of you guys, so a little bit more recent example is Brad Pitt and Fight Club. So these guys had a whole club, a network of enemies, basically. They're fighting each other, beating each other, but then they would go and live and work and start an industry together at the end of the day. So it really comes down to how we're treating each other. But somewhere along the line, no pun intended, we lost control because technology enabled us, our enemies, to become basically faceless and they could do whatever they want and say what they want. And you probably all know the story of Bart and Moe, he's pranking them anonymously. And I think that's magnified now with technology. Anyone with a computer, internet, and a tablet or a smartphone can criticize someone online and basically create an enemy out of nothing for no reason. And it's really unfortunate that people go this route and create enemies out of total strangers. When I see this guy, Macklemore, I don't know a ton about him, but I know his song, Same Love, has the line in it. Excuse me. Uh, have you seen the comments in the YouTube videos lately? And that's referring to all the hate and homophobia, just anonymously. But I'm not just going to talk about homophobia. It's also hate when it comes to sexism, racism, and personal appearance. I don't know if you guys can read what it says on the screen, but it says something about being the fattest bitches to ever walk the earth. And it's just a really offensive remark. And I'm not just trying to pick on Facebook, but it's just one of the most popular social media platforms. So it's pretty easy for all of us to identify with, because I think most of us are on there. But I've seen these kind of comments on Twitter, Instagram, and more recently and locally, um, the networking site Communet. And it's just unfortunate that we, in general, interact in this way online. I've even seen it on, okay. <laughs> I don't mean to sound sacrilegious here, but let's pray for a second here. Dear Lord, please grant me the ability to punch people through the internet. And I know we've, I'm not alone here. We've all felt this way. Arguing with people online is pointless, and there's nothing you can do when someone makes fun of you or posts a negative comment. And I'm not saying that we have to be quiet and watch what we say in the Russian Gestapo kind of way, but we just need to be more humane and watch what we say and think about what it would mean if you said that to someone's face. And getting back to the punching thing, the whole, <laughs> excuse me, uh, my friend Corey developed this app called Rumbler. And it's kind of like Tinder, but it's for people that want to fight. So this guy would be a swipe left. It's Kimbo Slice, if you don't already know. But there's Bob, who would be a swipe right, because he's a guy you'd want to fight, probably, because he likes watching football uh, and taking bathroom selfies in his towel on his gold iPhone. One other thing that's being considered for the app Rumbler is to incorporate it into web forums and other forms of social media. <laughs> so instead of, or in addition to like, comment, or reply, you would have a rumble button where you could challenge someone to a street fight just based on comments that they made <laughs> online. Okay, the app is tongue in cheek. It doesn't really exist, so shame on you if you're trying to download it right now. <laughs> so. Again, it's tongue-in-cheek, and I'm not saying to be quiet in the Russian Gestapo kind of way. We just need to 
be kinder to each other, be gentler, and act like you're talking to someone in real life. Ask yourself, would you say this in person? This isn't trying to suggest that Irish people are fighters or brawlers. It stands for in real life. So again, ask yourself, if you're going to make a comment online, do you really want to make an enemy anonymously? What are you really gaining out of that? So we have to look at these two guys talking it out in person. They're chatting about the weather, maybe some politics. They're just having a great old time. I think the guy on the left is actually saying, dude, this bench is so long. Why are you sitting so near me? <laughs> and I think, I don't know, I want tons of friends. Doesn't everybody want tons of friends? When we see someone hanging out alone, you wonder like, what did Lonely Bear do? Did he make some bad YouTube comments to his friends and they all ditched him? Or maybe he talked smack on Twitter and nobody wants to hang out with him for dinner anymore. And I, I love my, my pop culture references, so I'm gonna make one more. When it comes to movies, I think this is a great reference point. Be excellent to each other. I think that's something we can all get behind. Maybe we can start a hashtag. Maybe it'll be similar to the, like, it gets better anti-bullying campaign from a couple of years ago. So everybody, be excellent to each other. I've got one more slide, and to introduce it, on the right is me in 1986 slugging it out with another fellow headbanger on Electric Cav. I've got my big mane going, my Skid Row sweatpants, and if you watch this video on YouTube, it's called The World's Worst Street Fight. You can see me deliver a couple of roundhouse kicks, but we're best friends today. Thank you.